Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Find exact square root manually. So, find exact square root manually means we need to find the square root when given the number sometimes is not perfect square, which is after square root is not whole number, maybe with decimal. But we need to find exact, it's not estimate. Okay? So let's start from one question is a little bit uh, simple. Let's say, for example, a number, let's say, find the first example is find the square root is, uh, let's say, is 529, or is square root of 5? So the step is this way. Write the five twenty nine because if looking for square root, we separate the digit uh, from right side the two digit, right? Two digits separate, and so estimate what is the first number after square close to five. Obvious two, right? This two. Because two square equals four. If you put a three square equals nine. So two square equals four, which is close to five. Subtract it. One. And when you carry down the digit, you carry two digit. Twenty-nine. And when twenty-nine we're looking for the next digit. Looking for Next digit, we need to double this number, double two, which is four. And the next digit, we need to estimate. If you estimate this number is one, and this is, would, be, would be one. If this is two, and this is two. So these two numbers are always the same. So let's say, because 12, obviously three. So if this is 3, this is 3. Then multiply 3 by 3 is 9. 3 multiply 4 is 12. So now, square root of 5, 29 is 23. This is just show you how to do step by step. This is first example is with whole number. Okay? And we can try the other, also is a whole number, let's say. Uh, the second one, let's try square root 5329. We split in two digits from right side. So estimate what is Which number square is close to 53? So if you try 7, seven times 7, 7 square is 49, and you try 8 square is 64, too big. So 7 square 7, 7 square is 49. And subtract from 53, you got the 4, and carry it on, next two digit is 29. So next divided by double this number for the 14 the next digit you need to estimate double this number is 14 this digit, this digit you need to estimate what is this digit is will be same with that digit so let's say this is a 4 estimate this is 3 if you try 4 you say 14 multiply 4 is 56, too big, right? And if you 3, and this, this, because this is also 3, 3 multiply 14, maybe 42, something, okay? Here, 3. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 4 is 12, 4. So you got the answer is 73, right? 73. Both this example a whole number 
next I show you how to do similar but uh, you have more steps okay let's do next question let's say square root the third one find the square root one two three four that's fine 1234 what is square root yes so For left side, for right side, we split two digits. So estimate what the number square we got close to twelve. If you use four, four square sixteen. So back to three, three square equal nine, three square equal nine, and twelve minus nine equal three, and carry down the next two digit, three thirty four. Then double this number which is 6 and the next digit you need to estimate because obviously if you multiply 5, 5 multiply 6 the further is 30 if you try 6, 6 multiply 6 is 36 too big that's why this is a 5 so this is 5, this is the same thing 5, the second digit is 5 and 5 times 5 25 5 times 6 is 30, 32 then you have remainder 9 and then put decimal here and you add 0 you add 2 zeros because we always split 2 digit by 2 digit that's why when you add digit you also add 2 zeros and carry down 2 digit 2 zeros here 100 and looking for the next one Okay, now you need to div double these two numbers. First of all, you double 3, you got 6. Now you double 35, you got the 70. And the next digit, always have one more digit, you estimate. Because this is obviously, if you have any digit here, this is a 700 something, because this is only 900. That's why only one, right? Obviously only one. This is one, this is also one. So 1 times 701 equals 701. Yeah. Subtract, then this is a 9, this is another 9, this is a 1. So next, you, if you want to keep going, you can add another two zeros. Two zeros here. And the divider is Divisor is double this three digit, which is seven zero two, and the next digit you need to estimate. So this one is if you have, let's say if you have three three multiply seven. If this is three, this is three, right? This place is three, this is three. Three times seven is twenty one. Too big, so only two. So put two here, put two here. So two times two is four, and four, this is uh, zero, 14. Got the six, five, this is eight, and this is a five. At this moment, uh, if you only keep two decimal places, and uh, this question, you say this question done, right? Only two decimal places done. And also, if you want to find very accurately, say, okay, what if the next digit is greater than five? You round up to three. So that's why you can keep going to zero, zero, and two more zeros, and divide the number double four digit with seven, zero, to four estimate the next digit this one obviously you can see any this digit because the 58 if you seven times eight is 56 so this one is greater i think it is eight greater than five this is the eight this is the eight so if you only keep 
two decimal places, this answer is 35.13. Right? So we can use calculator to check our answer. See, square root 1, 2, 3, 4 equals to on this one. And see, this one is 35.128. Okay? Very accurate. That means find exact square root. Let's try one more question. Four. Looking for the square root 4697. So we Try four six nine seven two digit and estimate which number square close to forty six. So seven times seven is forty nine, so it's six. Six square is thirty six. And subtract it ten ninety seven carried on two digit always carried on. Two digit. Then double this one is twelve. The last digit you need to estimate because this is twelve is one. If this is nine, and this is nine, right? So if you try this one, I think you can try. If nine is oh, oh, eight, this is too big. So eight, try eight. So this is eight. These two digits always say, okay, 12 is double of this one. So 8 times 8 is 64. You mark down 6. Then 2 times 8 is 16 plus 6 is 22. You have 10 per this one. Then you subtract, I got the 3. This is got the 7. And carry it on. You put decimal here. Carry it on next two digit. Is zero and zero zero and double these two digit is one thirty six and estimate the next digit and you see this one we can put the if you got the five five times this one is sixty if it's six six is seventy eight too big so five if you put a 5, let's say 5, if this is a 5, 5 times 5, 25, 5 times 6 is 30, 32, and 3 times 5 is 15, 18, this is a 6. So subtract 75, this is a 4. If you want to keep two decimal places, add another two zeros. And divided number double these three digit. Double this one is zero. So it's zero. Double this one is six and seven and thirteen. And the, the last digit you always estimate. So this is a four or forty seven thirteen. Obviously is if you put a four, you got a fifty two three, right? is 3. 3 times 3, 9, 0, 21, 11, 4. Subtract, you got this is 1, 9, this is 3, this is 6. To decide it, if you need round up or drop it, you go to next digit by adding two zeros and divided double this digit so you have double this one double six three is six double this one is zero carry one seven and a twelve thirteen this one and the next digit the last digit you need to estimate right to estimate this one what we can do is 
this is 13, you just worry about this, consider this one 13, if you put a 5, this is a 5, and 13 multiplied by 5 is 65, too big, so that's why we put uh, not 5, only 4. So if this is a 4, you don't need a, even you don't need to continue, because this is a, answer is 68.53, drop it, drop it. This is a roundup, right? So we can show you what is square root 4697 is this one, see? The answer is 68.534, but we need only two decimal places, is 68.53. All right, this is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.